Okay, so today we're going to be coding the delete contact button. So we already have the add contact. I'll put my name in, and we can see it works, right? I can add a second contact. I'm going to put Sean in there, address phone number, and it's working, right? Uh, I'll put one more in. Let's put Taco in, and Taco's at 555-888. Okay. And then we also have our clear list button, yeah? And we also have the find contact button. We have to hit stop. Find contact. It asks, what's your name? I can actually refine this to be, uh, who are you looking for? That's better, right? So it says, who are you looking for? And if I say taco, it gives me tacos address, name, and phone number. We could do it for a little bit longer. How did we do that? We did it with the find contacts button and we said keep items such that the we use this string contains from the video from last time if you remember where is it? Right here. String contains. That's like does a does a string contain does a sentence contain a word type of thing, right? So item one of the list, which is contact list, does it contain the name you're looking for? And if it does, then keep it from the contact list. That's how we did the, the find contacts button, right? So if I say find contact and I say Sean, there, it reports Sean's contact. It's a little hard to see. Anthony pointed that out last time. Let's see, let's move that up. Find contact, Sean. And there's Sean's contact. Now the delete contact button is gonna be similar. We still want to find a contact, but then we want to get rid of it from this list. So some of these ideas in here we are going to use in the delete contact block. I'm going to head over to delete. This is a button right here, right? So we are going to click it. That means we do want a when I am clicked. We also want to find out who you want to delete. So we want to ask, who do you want to delete? And the answer is going to be who we want to delete, right? So if I click here and I say, I don't want to delete Matt, then this answer becomes Matt and we're going to use it. Now I'm going to make a block. It's going to be a variable reporter. Um, let's skip ahead. Let's make it a command. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. We'll say delete contact name. And the name is going to be an input variable name. And remember when I said we're going to use the same kind of architecture as the find contacts uh, block. We need this keep items such that. So I'm going to duplicate this. And there are different ways to do this. But I'm going to offer you up one little clever way. If uh, we, we could keep everything except for who you want to delete and then reset that to the contact list. It's not the most elegant way to do it, but this is one way to do it. So watch what I mean. Keep items such that the uh, item one, which is the name field, contains the name you want, right? What if we use that, that block we used uh, one time a while back called not, and it reverses, it reverses what you want. So string uh, name field contains the name. If I put that in a not, it means it does not contain the name. It's the opposite. So keep items such that from contact list that the, the name that we're typing in, name from right here, and again, if I put this in here, I now have to, I have to get rid of this. This is important. You have to put the new name variable down here, okay? Keep item such that not string item one of list contains name from the contact list. That will that will automatically put this contact list into this little list thing and it'll search. Um, so then what happens is, watch this. If I if I take this out, I want to show you how it works first. So if I put contains the answer here, right? And I just say, uh, let's just do say. We're going to say this list. I want to show you what it's doing. Watch this. Delete contact. Uh, let's say I want to get rid of taco. So I want to be left with just a list with Matt and Sean. Type in taco, enter. And look, here's a list with just Matt and Sean. It works. So I know it works. So now what we need to happen is inside this block, 
I need it to reset instead of answer name variable goes here I need to reset the entire contact list in other words set contact list to keep items such that the name you type in is not in the name so it's keeping everyone except for who you type in it's kind of a weird way to delete something but uh, stay with me for a second I'll hit apply okay grab this delete contact block who do I want to delete the answer to the question now let's test it out hopefully I can delete let's delete Sean from this list so we only have Matt and taco left delete contact who do you want to delete I type in Sean enter and boom we have a list it changed the format of the list it looks a little different but it's still the same it's the same thing and now I have a contact list with just Matt and taco in it so it worked if I want to delete another contact I want to delete Matt boom now I just have taco I want to find taco there's taco I want to clear the whole list yes clear the whole list I want to add a contact um, I want to add pizza at 555 at uh, Main Street there's pizza adding uh, mr. Sandwich at uh, 666 at uh, um, Cheese Avenue. And then if I want to delete sandwich, delete sandwich. Boom, it's working. So that is one way to do the delete contact block. But hopefully in class we can explore some other ways. All right, good luck.